What's up everyone, Bob and Singh here today. Now today we're unboxing the Corsair Raptor K30 gaming keyboard. And this is Corsair's entry gaming keyboard. Um, and it's exactly the same as K40, although this only comes in red LED. Whereas the K40 has 16.8 million different colours that you can choose and you can pick your own colour. Uh, but apart from that, the keyboard itself is exactly the same. So if you have a look at the box, you've got a picture at the front with Corsair Raptor and K30 in the front of the box. As well as the um, main features, so you've got six programmable macro, macro keys at the side here that you can see. Uh, red LED backlight, as I've just talked about. And anti ghosting which means you know touching multiple key, keys at once won't be an issue. Uh, if you take a look at the back of the uh, box, again you've got some of the features labelled. So you've got the mo multimedia keys labelled here, as well as the macro and the macro record button. But we'll look at that as we open the box uh, in more detail. Um, so let's get the box open and have a look what's inside. So I've just cut the two seals at the bottom and let's get this box open. So as you expect, there's just a keyboard inside, nothing much else included with it. So we take the keyboard out and then you've got a small instruction manual, so that's probably how to use the macro keys and you know any sort of drives that you may need for those macro keys. Uh, the But the keyboard does have onboard uh, storage to store the actual macro key. So if you do take this keyboard to, you know, another, you know, plug it into another computer, whether it's at your friend's house or anywhere at all, all the programs will still be stored and be able to be used as a stored on the keyboard, not on any sort of program on the computer. So let's take the plastic off and take a look at the keyboard in much closer detail. So we've got a nice red USB um, to connect to. It's not gold plated, but it is a budget keyboard. And it looks like you've got a fairly decent length of cables fairly standard for most keyboards you have the same sort of look that all of the Corsair keyboards have even the more premium keyboards so if someone came to your house didn't know which model it is and it does still look fairly premium although it is all plastic this uh, silver bit does have that sort of cold metal feel to it the keys are quite nice they're quite highly risen uh, again to look like a gaming keyboard so to make it look like mechanical keys even though these are rubber dome keys you can see that the WASD keys and the directional key uh, Keys are different colours, so they do stand out uh, as those are the main keys that we'll be using gaming. You've got your six macro keys, and you can also have three different modes for that, so it gives you a total of 18 different macros. You've got your macro record button, as well as your Windows lock key, so you can stop the Windows key from being used so it doesn't you know, open up and minimise your game halfway through if you accidentally click it. You've also got your LED button, so this changes the LED to, from either off and then to low, medium, and high. Uh, intensity of settings as well as that on the right you've got your media key so if you take a closer look at that you've got your volume keys at the top as well as your media keys for your uh, tracks so any sort of music or movies you might be playing just below that now these are more rounded compared to the keys themselves and a bit flatter uh, but it's always nice to have that in place anyway so yeah that's my quick unboxing and first look at the Corsair K30 entry-level gaming keyboard. Thanks for watching.